function, we will determine the complement of a given angle as well as the supplement of a given angle. Let's begin by reviewing the definitions of complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that have a sum of 90 degrees. And here's an example of two angles that are complementary. These two angles are complementary because the sum of the measures is equal to 90 degrees. Notice 30 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. In general though, if we call this angle one and this angle two, when two angles are complementary, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 90 degrees. Another way to think of this is if we were to combine two complementary angles, they would form a 90 degree angle as shown here. So if we break up this right angle into two angles using this ray here, and call this angle one and this angle two, the sum of the measures must equal 90 degrees, and therefore together they form a right angle. Two angles are supplementary when the angles have a sum of 180 degrees. Here's an example of two supplementary angles because 139 degrees plus 41 degrees equals 180 degrees. Or in general, if we call this angle one and this angle two, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. Another way to think of this is, if you were to combine two supplementary angles, they must form a straight angle. Beginning with this straight angle here, if we break this up into two separate angles, let's say here, using this ray, let me call this angle one and this angle two, the sum of the measures must equal 180 degrees, and therefore together, they form a straight angle. Now let's take a look at our two questions. The first question is find the complement of a 51 degree angle. Well, we know complementary angles must have a sum of 90 degrees, so to model this, let's begin with the right angle. Let's break this up into two separate angles using this ray here. Let's label this angle 51 degrees. The complement of this angle would be the measure of an angle, so the sum of the measures is equal to 90 degrees, which would have to be this missing angle here. Notice to find the complement of a 51 degree angle, we begin with 90 degrees and subtract 51 degrees, which gives us 39 degrees. The complement of a 51 degree angle is an angle that measures 39 degrees because 39 degrees plus 51 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So we'll say the complement of a 51 degree angle is a 39 degree angle. Next, we're asked to find the supplement of a 17 degree angle, which would be an angle that if we add the measure to 17 degrees, would be equal to 180 degrees. To model this, let's form a straight angle. Let's break this up into two separate angles, let's say using this ray here. Let's measure this small angle, 17 degrees. So the measure of this angle here would be the supplement of the 17 degree angle. We know that some of the measures must equal 180 degrees, and therefore the measure of this angle must equal 180 degrees minus 17 degrees, which equals 163 degrees. Which means the supplement of a 17 degree angle is a 163 degree angle. I hope you found this helpful.